No one can deny that strength, endurance and conditioning are an integral part of martial arts. Masters throughout the history have always been giving importance to strength training, conditioning and these traditional methods of strengthening the body. Disciplines like this still have a good reputation of bringing a sense of balance in the practitioner's life in terms of physical and mental well-being. The old karate masters would use things that were easily available to them at that time in Okinawa, such as agricultural implements or daily life equipments or tools that they would use in their homes. Many of these we can still recognize and we know what's the purpose of them. And one among these is Chishi or Chi Ishi. This is a power training tool that is used to strengthen the grip, the wrist, the forearms, the arms, the back, the shoulder and if done properly can also strengthen your core and lead to an improved set of karate techniques. These add to your power, stamina, endurance, strength and whatnot. Today we are lucky enough to have Sensei Salil Nadkarni who is a world renowned karate teacher. 7th Dan Black Belt in Kubudo and 8th Dan Black Belt in Ishin Ryu Karate. He will be sharing his knowledge about the importance of karate training, the strength training exercises, the history of Chishi and other related Hojondo exercises and tools. Sensei Salil has already shared a lot of valuable information about the history, traditions and the application of these karate techniques. What you are going to see is Sensei Salil's videos, his drills, his video clippings, his philosophy, his knowledge, but in our words. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Grip strength, the strength in our fingers, the wrist, the forearms, the arms, the chest, the shoulder muscles, even back muscles, the traps, the laterals, all these muscles are heavily involved in our martial arts movements such as gripping, pulling somebody, getting hold of something or their dress, finger striking, of course, punching, handling a weapon, handling a sword or maybe striking somebody using a kubudo weapon. Somehow the old masters from Okinawa knew the importance of these exercises. Now since we are talking about karate, let's go to Okinawa, the birthplace of karate. Now old Okinawa, we have to understand, is a place with very less resources. Even steel was a big deal. Now this is a place where people have fishing and agriculture as their main occupation. So naturally they did not have functional gyms and swimming pools and gymnasiums, training centers to train. So they had to adjust with what was available. And most of the time you can see karate, traditional karate and martial arts equipments would be agricultural or some tools related to their daily activities. So that is what they used for training and making their body fit. And this is exactly what happened with Chishi also. Actually, the Chi Ishi is a textile industry tool. They used to spin this thing and wind thread around it. We have to appreciate the person who first came up with this idea to use it as an exercise. This art of strengthening your body using tools is called as Hojondo. And it is divided into two. The lifting Hojondo and the impact Hojondo. But many people usually complain about the joint pains and all kinds of pains they have in their knees, in their elbows, in their back. Back is specially targeted in Hojondo exercises like usually when people lift weight that they can't actually bear, they usually face these lower back problems and things like this. All these problems can be avoided if you just listen to the advice of a great karate teacher.
I'm talking about Kanryo Higona. This is a master from a time when karate was not actually called as karate. His students include many karate legends such as Chojin Miyagi. He has given some rules for Hojondo and how to approach these exercises. Number 1 is never rush or never try to show off. There is no such thing as fast progress in Hojondo. Number 2 is to train according to your abilities. That is the weight is not important. Form is important. Number 3 is to repeat the exercise until complete exhaustion. We increase the intensity and reps gradually. In other words, lift properly it will care. With that being said, now let us move on and look at some basic chishi exercises. This is a video clip of Sensei Selin Nadkarni practicing in a dojo. Here in the first exercise you can see that the movement is quite simple it is going from outside to the center and from inside again coming back to the center but here the challenge is not swinging the heavy chishi properly it is to keep your body and posture stable while swinging it properly the chi ishi is usually made of stone or concrete so we know that it is not easy to lift it and stay stable but isn't that what martial art is supposed to teach us to not lose our form and balance even in a unstable situation here is a video clip of sensei sali leading his exercises of chi ishi in his dojo now you can see this is a different exercise where we use not our back but our legs to lift up the chi ishi and try to keep it stable in that position Now the challenge is again to keep our posture straight. Here moving on to a new addition in the same exercise. The chi chi is taken back while the back is kept straight and using the core muscles you bring it forward and try to stay stable throughout the movement. Again this is not an exercise focusing on how you swing the thing around. It is an exercise which helps you focus on your posture while you swing the thing around. Here is another exercise in which they are doing almost vertical punches but with the chi chi in their hand the challenge is again to the shoulders the forearms one thing you might have noticed all these muscles the backs the traps the lats the shoulders the forearms the arms the grip the fingers all these muscles are very important in your karate or any other martial art techniques such as punching grabbing grappling pulling pushing poking finger strike or any other thing like that there is one more thing that sensei told us while talking about chi chi he said that the best way to practice this is to harmonize your body mind and breath without any one of these three things body mind and breath your techniques will have a lot of hindrance they will not work here by mind we mean intention intention the person should know for what he is doing this what part of his body is getting strengthened and where in which techniques will he use this here is a video clip of sensei atulya nadkarni he is a 6th dan black belt in ishin ryu karate and a 5th dan black belt in kobudo the exercise you see over here is a combination of the back and forth movement and the forward thrust notice how the form is maintained throughout this exercise they are taking this back from all three sides that is the center and the right side and the left side so focusing a lot and improving all your core strength and also strengthening your back muscles and finally we have sensei salil demonstrating the chi chi exercises for us this is the first exercise in which we go back and forth and also thrust in the forward direction that is going back and coming forward you'd notice the breathing how much importance is given to the breathing the posture this is a perfect sumo stance or kiba dachi or shiko dachi according to your style but the back is kept straight the core is aligned while going back we are strengthening the back muscles while coming forward we are strengthening the core muscles and while thrusting notice what is happening with the grip the chi chi is almost like squeezed this will increase the grip strength also next we see an exercise which will strengthen the biceps the forearms and even the back and also improve our posture one thing you might have noticed about these exercises is that they resemble a lot to the martial art weapon 
movements in which they do kind of a inside block and thrust with the bow or the lathi or anything like that i personally believe that these exercises will strengthen the weapon fighting skills a lot front training is important but not at the cost of your injured joints that is why you see many exercises demonstrated over here done with utmost care and done properly lift properly it will care that is what sensei told us if you like this video hit the like button subscribe and press the bell icon